Hello, this is Vlad from Talisa Decor, and today I'm going to show you how to install the uh, 3D wall panel on the wall when you have a receptacle or light switch. Generally, the installation of the ceiling tiles over the plain wall, it's a fairly easy process. The only thing you, you need is just the glue, uh, finishing nails, uh, and this is pretty much it. You apply the glue on the back of the panel and you glue it onto the wall. But join them side by side, nice and easy. Uh, the little bit more complicated when you have in the middle of the wall or anywhere in the wall you have a light uh, light switch or receptacle now because the panels they have a fairly deep design they almost some of the panels they can be about one inch deep uh, the regular plate that you have uh, once you cut the panel you'll see the holes because the, the tiles as you can see from behind they hollow so when you cut it when you do the cut in the in, in a panel uh, the uh, the width of the plate, the standard plate, is, uh, is only about quarter of an inch, less than quarter of an inch. So obviously you're gonna see the holes. Now, you don't want to see them, so here what you can do. One of the options, of course, of course, uh, you can remove the receptacle completely, like close it and remove it. But sometimes you have to leave it. Or if it's, for example, a light switch, you have to leave it on, this, on the place. So I'm gonna show you how can you uh, do it so it's gonna look nice on the wall. Now. Um, to do that, uh, to install the panels, you have to, um, uh, you have to find, it's called um, starter box. Uh, we found it's in Home Depot. Uh, they, they're available in uh, different uh, width. This one is about, I would say, one inch deep. Um, they're also available, I think, one, one and a half up two inches wide. So for, for, our, for, for, for this particular panel, one inch would be enough. So. You bring this uh, you bring this box and what you do first of all let's unscrew the existing plate obviously, obviously turn off the power and we take the plate off Keep all the little screws because we're gonna reuse them. Okay, now we're gonna take the light switch or receptacle out. Okay. Like right now, I'm gonna take the box, take the extension box, center it, and mark it on the wall. Okay, once done, right now we're gonna take the measurement from Either the previous panel is already installed, or in my case, from the molding to which I'm gonna butt the panel. So I'm gonna take a measurement and I can write them down even on the wall because they're gonna be the, my writings will be covered. So we have here almost 15, 14, 7, 8 inch. The next measurement gonna be up to here, up to the right side of the box so it's going to be 17 and 7 8 11 and a half sixteen and a quarter okay now I'm taking the panel my panel gonna be here, installed here. And I'm gonna mark the same, uh, the same uh, marks that I have on the wall. I'm gonna find them on my panel. So 14 and 7 8. Seventeen and seven eight. Eleven and a half, sixteen and a quarter. Now 
So once I make all the all the marks, I'm gonna draw the exactly the same um, exactly the same square here. Okay. So my box is gonna be exactly in uh, in front of the the receptacle. Now using the sharp utility knife, I'm gonna cut out the hole according to the lines that I just made. In order to save some time, I'm gonna show it's already pre-cut. Okay, gonna put it on the back to see that it's exactly the same size that I needed. And now what I need to do, I just need to glue, uh, to glue my panel on the wall. So to glue the panels, I recommend to use the contact cement adhesive. Now for the better results, we also recommend to use the finishing nails. Uh, for this presentation, I'm not gonna do that, but generally it's a good idea to use the finishing nails too, just to secure the, secure the panel on the drywall. Now, it's, when installing the panels, it's very important to apply the adhesive on both on the wall and on the panel. Okay, almost done. Now, if you're working against the frame, it's a good idea, obviously, to put a bit of a masking tape in order not to touch it. Okay, now we're gonna apply the adhesive on the panel itself, on the back of the panel. Just pay attention when you apply the adhesive on the back of the panel, you don't need to go inside the blend, inside the waves because they're not gonna touch the wall. You, apl you apply the adhesive only on the parts that's sticking out, the ones that are gonna be attached to the wall. Pay an extra attention to apply the adhesive evenly on the edges because you want to have nice tight edges, nice tight joints, I mean. Okay, we're almost done. Okay. Now, according to the instructions, when you find on any uh, kind of contact cement that you're gonna buy, uh, you can find uh, you can find the instructions. You have to wait. Usually, it's about five minutes. To let the adhesive uh, to let the solvent to evaporate. So once you when you apply the adhesive on the wall, you don't put it right away. Uh, you don't put the panel right away to the wall. You have to wait. So um, the, the adhesive has to be almost dry and just a little bit tacky for the touch. So we're gonna wait an extra minute, and then we're gonna continue.
Now, when you're installing the panel on the wall, it's important to make sure it touches the wall everywhere. That's why I run my finger along all the waves. Okay, done. Uh, right now we're gonna install the base of the extension box. Once the base is installed, I'm going to install the box on top of it. Now, uh, the good thing about this box is they're paintable. So um, you can do it before you install, you can paint it the same color you intend to paint the wall, or you can paint them with the with uh, panels themselves once you've done your installation. So. Okay. Now we're gonna screw. Now we're gonna screw the uh, recept receptacle itself to the extension box. Okay, and as a last touch up, I'm gonna install the plate back to my box. We are almost there. Okay. And last thing we need to do is using a caulking gun and Halix Plus paintable caulk to seal those little gaps that we have here on the sides to make uh, to make this box or this receptacle blend in with the tile.
once you finish caulking, you can finish install the panels, paint the wall, and you're done. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.